Like all the changes that happened this year, it felt like autumn arrived suddenly. The changes came one by one, not planned, but arriving uninvited. Of course, our lives do change all the time, but hopefully we have some way of dealing with it. After renovating our kitchen at the start of the year, we became ill, the three of us, one after the other. So March was wished away. April brought the beautiful spring and we paced ourselves to get back on track. May, we decided a holiday abroad was needed. So we went to Menorca, Spain in June. I have an aunt and uncle over there and it was wonderful to see them and catch up. They came to the UK over the summer and we celebrated birthdays. I felt a bit sad though that over the years I hadn't got to know them properly, but living in different countries, I couldn't afford holidays abroad in my younger days. We have promised to keep in touch and we will be planning a trip abroad next year. Happily, we celebrated my mum's 80th birthday over the summer. There were times when I thought she wouldn't make it. Her Parkinson's disease always causing health issues. Mum is not able to do much yeah. now, so we celebrated down the pub with a meal and drinks and presents and cake and the obligatory photo taking. Sadly, my dad never made it to 80 and his passing still affects me a few years on. September brought the decision from my partner to sell his boat. As beautiful as she is, we didn't use her enough and in the end, she started to seize up from the lack of use. Derek bought her as a project to do and then sell her but nine years later, she remained in his custody. She was sold to a lovely man who was once in the Navy and we know she will be taken good care of. A ship is safe in the harbour, but that's not what it's built for. We wish her happy sailing and a little piece of our hearts will always sail with her. On Crane Packet's departure, we then decided we had far too many cars that just weren't being used. Probably because we'd moved in together. My beloved Land Rover Freelander decided to pack up anyway and it was too much money to be repaired. So a bit of sad farewell after nine years, but it was 25 years old. Derek sold his Mercedes Benz and that's due to go at the end of November. There's been lots of little, cha little changes along the way this year that really tested me far too many to go into but we all have to cope and deal with things as they come along and I've learned that patience and staying calm are the best traits to have but nonetheless I became stuck and hit a wall I didn't remember to be faithful and true to myself and take time out to live in the moment just constantly going from one thing to the other I'm happy with all that I have. The little things matter to me, not the big stuff. Belongings mean nothing. So upon making this video, I've now had a cold for three weeks and although I'm on the end of it, I'm finding it hard to become well again. Just like autumn, life is now starting to slow a little to a manageable pace. Back in September though, we made a very big decision to buy a motorhome. Wow, neither of us saw that one coming. Not planned at all. But at our age now, if you want to see some more of the world, this was the answer. I've always wanted to go around the whole of the British Isles and had thought that maybe I would do it in my VW T2 Bay. But it's too small for Derek because he's six foot two and she's old being 1979. So a motorhome came about and <laughs> we picked it up at the end of September. If you want to see our travels and adventures, head on over to our new YouTube channel. It's called Dell Down Travels. There's one video on there and there's a tour of the motorhome coming and also our first trip to Somerset in the UK that um, I'm both editing and working on. 
so those will be coming soon. We would really appreciate your support. We have a trip to France, possibly in spring, of four weeks, as Derek has a, a job out there to do, but a definite trip to Sardinia, Italy in May, to a wedding. So we thought we would make a trip out of it in the motorhome. As I bring this video to a close, Christmas is but four and a half weeks away. I can't believe it. I don't know where this year has gone. It's definitely been testing and trying and stressful. And I'm happy to see it gone, but in a good way. We all change and grow as we get older. And it's time for me to move on to the next stage of life. I feel the changes and events of this year were signs and I must acknowledge them and then let it all go to start afresh next year. I do hope you are all well and I'm sending you lots of good wishes and vibes your way. Be good to yourselves. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and don't forget to visit Delzan Travels. I'll see you very soon. There will still be videos uploaded on here. Once I get back on track, I'll be fine. Bye for now.